Millions of people who really need their stimulus checks have not gotten them yet. That includes seniors on Social Security, people with disabilities, and veterans. And today, President Biden's press secretary said those payments will be processed in the coming days. Let's find out what that means. Representative Danny Davis signed a letter last week demanding quick action from the Social Security Administration. He joins us live. Congressman, so good of you to be with us tonight. Thank you so much. Tell us Thank you. Tell us what uh, what you said in that letter and what was the response that you got uh, from the government? Well, the, the, the moment we discovered that uh, some Social Security recipients were being delayed in receiving their PPP check, we immediately sprang into action. As a matter of fact, the Ways and Means Committee, including uh, Chairman Neal, John Larson, Chairman of uh, Social Security, we just went into action and made sure that Social Security understood that the Internal Revenue Service needed to have the information so they could get the checks out. The response has been great, quite frankly. And people should be receiving checks today or tomorrow. If they have not already gotten them, they ought to be coming. The last thing that we want to have happen is that Social Security recipients are late in receiving anything that's coming to them. And, and so the response has been good, and we're very pleased that their checks should be on the way. Yeah, I believe uh, April 7th is when uh, people who are uh, getting Social Security benefits are supposed to get their uh, payments here. These are people that are on, on fixed incomes, people uh, that really need those uh, stimulus payments. What are those constituents telling you about uh, the positions that they're in right now? How dire has it been for them? Well, that's exactly what they're telling us, and they are reminding us that they are in great need of the resource that they are having difficulty. It frustrates them. They're already frustrated a bit, but it further frustrates them. And let me tell you, the PPP program right now is so great. We don't want anybody to be frustrated about not receiving what they've got coming as quickly as they can. I, I mean, I've worked on a lot of bills in my lifetime. I don't think I've ever worked on a better bill than mm. the stimulus package that we've got coming to people right now. I, I think on average, uh, these payments are around $1,400. So uh, for many people, it is, it is truly substantial here. What should we tell people who, who still, you know, let's say next week goes by and they still haven't received the payment, uh, what should they do to try to, to fix this situation, knowing how long it's taken at this point? I don't think that's going to really happen too much. I think the president is accurate. They are going to be getting their checks, but they can always call their congressman's office and, and they're willing to help. And they can call Social Security or the Internal Revenue Service. We're going to get those checks into their hands as quickly as possible. As you've been watching uh, the vaccinations uh, rolling out through uh, the state of Illinois, what has been your, uh, your opinion on the way things have been going thus far? I think actually things have been going quite well. I had my own uh, vaccination plan program Sunday, and we actually vaccinated 1,200 people at the Rising Sun Missionary Baptist Church just the day before yesterday. But in an overall sense, I think the governor, the mayor, all of them are doing great jobs in terms of the leadership. And we're going to get the people in Illinois vaccinated. I have no doubt about that at all. Congressman Davis, always a pleasure to chat with you. Thanks for your time this evening. And you take care, sir. Thank you. And it's always a pleasure. All right.